Okay, back real quick, same date. The time is 1333. Um, finally, the group of asteroids I was looking at has finally come close to me. And there are two Mr. Magic chemtrails inbound. So that's them right there. One at the treetop. That one, that one, that one. And it's, it's a, like a line of them. They're the Mr. Magic chemtrails. Let me see if I can catch this guy. He's so, I'll start with this one. I'm trying to get it over. This guy flying over it, towards it, and then this guy triangulate off of him. Where are you? He's way up there. I can't see him because it's right out here, but let me see. Anyway, he's up there. He's above this one. This asteroid should be there. Anyways, that's what it is. This is the sun. Rest of the sky. Another Mr. Magic Kim trailer inbound towards the sun. And more to come. I know it is. I see the rest of them coming up from above the clouds. These little planetoids are beautiful, and they're in a string of pearls. They're more, they're more like asteroidal moons. All right, stand by, poof. I think I see some faded clouds too, which are indicative of asteroids further out. Yep, there's an asteroid right there. Where are you? Hold on. I can never get these things. Right there. All right, we'll be back, poof. Got an army chopper. I'm out here by Blackstone, so that's about right. That is a Cobra. Yeah, Army Cobra. Nice, one of my favorites. All right, right here we got an asteroid cross in the sky. Real beautiful. Looks like a diamond. And it's got a little one over the top of it. That's interesting, because uh, it's been a while since I've seen one that distinct and isolated. That's hot. I'll tell you, these things are ridiculously getting close. It doesn't bother me. Um, I just kind of would like to see them in the clear without all the sky drag and the jets and the clouds all around them, you know? All right, hang tight. All right, what's up, everybody? You're back with Third Eye Cam. Same date. May 19th, 2021, the time is 17.45. 545 for my civilians, I'm just not off work. And I seen some faint clouds in the air that I'm we're about to get at, which are actually out in space and planetoid. Um, before we get at that, since this guy's fast moving, fast moving bogey, let me see if I can capture him. I'm Mr. Magic Chemtrail, you should be able to see him. I don't, I can't see his bright out here. Anyway, he's passing behind the tail of this, this tail, which is attached to this asteroidal head or whatever this is. It's a spatial body and it's pushing a cloud through space and it's got a lot of debris behind it. AKIE, uh, this, um, see these little rocks? Very huge, but you know, they're little because in comparison to the big deal. I'm gonna come back to that at the horizon. I, I noticed he's coming up. They are pretty much above uh, horizon. I saw them coming in. Those are some planets out there, literally. Everything is situated going back north now. Um, it's, it was, it's coming from the south. It was south of us, um, what, four days ago? Now all these are planets, they're ship, shifting back north. So I'm guessing our earth is wobbling. Every time these damn things pass from north to south, I notice when they come from the north, it's a cooler day. When they go from the south, we are being reeled like uh, the Earth wobbling north, which puts my position on the equator back close to the sun and makes it warmer. Now I notice when they swing back south, we follow them and um, we get a little cooler. I've been noticing that. So these things are like a, you know, like a warp record. Y'all ever seen a warp record on a on a, a table, a, a record top? And it's got that little hitch in the album and the needle bounces with the, the album. So these planetoids and asteroids are kind of like the needle. And as they run back and forth, they pushing us in a warp as a, like a wobble. And that's what Angry Catfish Briggs was talking about when he was, um, the, you know, breaking down the, the, the earth being in a wobble. And pretty much, let me let y'all see my fist. Hold on, I'll do it like this. Give me a second. All right, so um, imagine my fist is the earth, right? 
my energies are asteroids. So at my knuckles is the equator, right? This is the southern hemisphere. This is the northern hemisphere. So I'm gonna tilt the equator, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. So as the earth spins, right, it's spinning, has a wobble to it like that. Can't quite get my fist because it's attached to my wrist, but it has a, like that. That's how the earth is spinning through space. If the earth is indeed turning, it has a wobble just like that. So you got these asteroids coming across, right? It's coming from the south. This is my south, this is my north. It's coming from the south. It's pulling and it pulls it back and the sun is behind me. And that's when uh, the earth kind of raises up, hits the equator and just it swings back. They rock back down and we get cooled off. That's the best way I can explain it. So I'm gonna get you back to this real quick. Cause it's been what I call a dry day, what I would consider a dry day. When I say dry day, that means um, you can't really see the clouds up there and all you see is sun and blue sky, sun is blue sky. Now when these little planets start coming back in and it's a bunch of chemtrailers uh, chasing, there's one right there coming from south, east, which really from Fort Bragg, Fayetteville. Um, like I said, This is what I consider a dry sky day. Oh, there's another chemtrailer right there also. And y'all check out Adam Weird's uh, videos. He's one of my subscribers and I'm subscribed to him too. Uh, he, <laughs> Adam got some wild videos, but I love it. I love wild. Um, please check out Adam Weirdo's uh, videos. Please, please, please go to Adam Weirdo. Adam, I'll, I'll spell his name you know so that y'all can go to him but check out his videos he got some wild stuff good music awesome videos i like stuff like that i like people who are just off the chain i can't help it um big up to uriel big up to marie big up to ty who else I got a new subscriber. Big up to Octavia. Um, damn, man, I need I need to get a list, man. I, I, I'm sucking y'all because like my job is working me to death. This is the first time I've gotten off early this week. Last week just kicked my butt. So I got some projects I need to finish up, some music and some videos. I'm I'm just about finished with my UFO video. I just gotta add some music because it was like I couldn't really talk through it because my night vision sucks and I didn't bring my I wish people would stop burning out <laughs> going nowhere with all that noise I can't stand that um anyways yeah I got some videos I, a video I need to put up with the UFOs um and I, and I need to edit it's gonna take me a minute because that thing is a huge long you can see this planetoid the sun shining on it see there's a sun sun shining on it that one right there freaking awesome and we're looking at the back side of it it's always a lot of backside between us and these planets because they are closer to the sun than the earth is and when they show up we don't get to see them in their full glory like we would our moon because they're further out like this right here is a this is definitely a planetoid deal you see one side of it lit up it's got a lot of debris around it and it's dragging the moon there's the moon right there to the left of it behind it uh it's probably dragging more than what i can see um but it's decent and look at the legs coming off of it the, the, the tails i see three unless that's the moon dragging uh the moon's dragging the asteroid i'm guessing there's an asteroid behind a planetoid and a freaking moon and a whole lot more asteroids and you can see the chemtrails just all over it up there so I'm not gonna try to make this too much longer because it's not much to see. This is south, not much down there. And I'm in a limited area just because um, you know, here there's another, there's another cloud. Um, the way Angry Catfish Briggs and I heard some other scientists explain this is that there are a thick wave of clouds out in space, and it's more than likely made up of dust and space debris and you know, frozen chemicals and what have you, and unknown metallurgical properties that we are not familiar with here on Earth. And um, we're drifting back into that, into that deal. And all these planets are, are part of that system. 
Um, I'm honestly glad that Alex is starting to pay attention to the Planet Toys deal. I don't know if he believed it in the beginning. I remember back in 2017, he was talking about Planet Toys, but then he kind of stopped uh, jumping off that and jumped on another topic. I think he, he likes to jump back and forth, and I'm not, I'm not knocking him right here, I promise y'all. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I wouldn't normally worry about anybody, but the moment he sparked my attention was when we got into our heated debate, and he told me that I was a fake and a fraud for uh, believing in planets, and then he asked a sarcastic question while we still here, and I told him, I said, you're going to find out soon, and that was like three months ago. Um, and I guess he watched enough of my videos and, and, and listened to Angry Catfish Briggs and some other people's Planet Hunter X and a few others to realize like, damn, there's something really going on. Now he will never acknowledge us and that's fine and dandy. We're already too far ahead of him uh, with our deal. So we're not gonna sweat the small stuff. And I'm not knocking him, I promise y'all. I'm giving him a hard time because uh, he wants to, like I said, be the all knowing and all seeing eye and um it takes more than one man to bring y'all information if you notice in the military they got a bunch of men wearing the same ranks know what i mean even the freaking guy at the top called the the, the four-star general has an assistant four-star general that's why the president has a vice president so it takes more than one man so i'm shooting that message to him as well as everybody else and myself first and foremost that uh, I'm giving my portion of this and this is for y'all this ain't for us this ain't for us to be like oh look at me I'm just teaching you all some things and and I'm the all man the all seeing eye man and the all knowing eye man it's more like hey this is what I'm seeing in my part of the world Planet Hunter X hey this is what I'm seeing in my part of the world Might and Angry Catfish Briggs this is what I'm seeing on the damn computers you little slap jaw punk ass turds <laughs> cause that's how he laughs, laughs you know what I'm saying? And the reason I'm bringing them out because those are the ones that's been really throwing down with him uh, as well as myself. As as far as me, hey, fool, I'm going to have to come jack you up, fool. Pop your heart out. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm being ignorant right now, and it's funny because I need that. Uh, nah, but I, know, I don't want to pitch all against Alex Luan. Go listen to him. He is very informational. And like I said, he'll never give me any credit or any shout outs because he probably don't even like my kind of person i'm probably a threat to him he'd probably never be friendly to me so uh i don't concern myself with situations like that i keep it moving i could be petty but i'm very really high off my echelon i don't really come down to mess with too many people i uh i just kind of stay away from the foolishness because i i'm telling you, you go through the military especially freaking i can't speak for army air force and navy but you go through the marine corps you're arguing every day and it's not we just standing around arguing we're getting things done you're getting your ass chewed and you're chewing somebody's ass and, and, and it goes both ways you know so um with that being said um i'm used to conflict and confrontation it doesn't hurt my feelings when it's business it's business if i'm wrong i'm wrong if i'm right get in line and give me a check mark if you try to derail me and I'm right, and you know you're wrong, and I'm gonna have to freaking come get you. You know what I mean? Where it be ver verbally, physically, spiritually, just all that. I don't have time to play. Um, as much as I cut up, and I don't let too many people hear me cut up. Y'all get a little taste of that, but I really wild out when I do. Look at that, that's a planet right here, above the sun, closer to the earth. Let's see if I can cut the sun out. Um. It's a beautiful day. I can tell my planet toys to come back. Like I said, uh, they're swinging back across. So everybody's so worried about uh, these petty issues on Earth and doing dumb stuff and distracting us that they won't. The world has become a joke to me. They just have like ever since freaking. It really started when, um, when Trump got in office, y'all. Like we lost a lot of our metal off our chest. Obama held it up good. Bush held it up good. Clinton held it up good. Um, the other Bush held it up good. Daddy Bush. And, and Reagan did a good job too. All of them had hidden agendas. But. They worked out for the country. But also. Little secret. Um, America's blessings are up with 400 years. And there's a whole lot of spiritual stuff going on down with that. I'm not going to get into it with this video. There's a planet over at the horizon across the top of this building. 
Um, I, like I said, I do a lot of research and I look for facts. I don't look for fairy tales with stories told. And a lot of your Greek stories are really um, trans, retranslated from the Bible and you know situations like that. But I'm not going to get into all that. I just want y'all to see these planets. They're really beautiful. They're getting ready to scour across the sun and set in the west. Uh, this one actually I thought was going further. It's actually coming this way. I thought it was getting away from me. It's coming this way actually. So if the earth is rolling away from the sun, that means these things are moving to, with the earth and they're going to swing kind of over it. And there's a chemtrail also. Uh, he is coming across the tail so he can meet that planetoid. Like I said, there's a whole nother big planetoid that just is passing over back this way. So these things come at the earth and then they kind of fly by off into the distance. And that's why we only see a little bit of it. I can't express it enough. And these are getting close also. I can't see crap. Hold up. I know my camera's gonna turn out right, but these, yeah, there they go. All these right here are coming this way. So that's coming from the west, not clouds. You know, a lot of people still like kind of behind me because I have, you know, I, you know, when I'm doing my videos, a lot of times y'all don't hear my conversation, but I have to cut the video. Some of you who will walk up to me be like, are you bird watching? What you see in the sky? They do it real sarcastic, like they know all what's going on. And my evil self, once they put me there, I'll look at them with my military manner. And I'll say, point up first. And then they start looking up and they look back down at me. And I'll still point up and I'll look up. I was like, do you see that planet? And they're like, where? And I'll say, keep looking. Or they got shades, put the shades on. And by the time they figure it out, they freak out, y'all. And I get freaking tickled pink on the inside because I realize, like, oh, learning has occurred. Oorah. <laughs> then I introduce myself to them as third I can. And then tell them to go look at my page. And uh, a lot of them get blown away. But then they, you know, they come to their senses. Um, the reason why I do this is because I'm seeing this stuff and... At some point, it's going to come into the clear, just like our moon. These planets are going to get a little bit closer, just like our moon. And unfortunately, a lot of stuff is going to start shaking. And a lot of people are going to flip out, die out, fall through the cracks of the earth, get burnt by lava, like consumed. And just, it's going to be a bad freaking beginning to a long freaking run, unfortunately. So... I'm just doing my ominous ominous, you know? So those that would be the ones that want to block my channel, derail me, cut me in twain, scatter me, shred me, deflower me, <laughs> and then call me a lunatic. Um, when we get to the other realm of this, I'm gonna wholeheartedly take my holy sandal and kick them straight into hell. And tell them you're welcome <laughs> just like so all right so now i got my camera on this tripod you can literally see i can't see what's around so that's the sun flare that little right there the sun flare looking for my little orb it's so bright out here i can't see it i think it rolled out you see i'm looking around the sun see if it went around the sun anywhere else it disappeared all right so well at least i know i know it's a Actual planet toy, I can see the craters in it. Alex was on that same deal too. But y'all know I had caught that planet a long time ago. He just now getting on it. Uh, up here, we can see a planet toy, a moon, a bunch of moons. Damn. Let me see. One, two. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten major ones the uh, rest are small so so many and when i say moons i'm talking about like asteroids I, I was laughing at alex's video because he was trying to imitate me uh he was saying that you know somebody was calling him a fraud people call me a fraud no yeah i said I'm, I'm trying to make him say my name not because i want any attention i just want to agitate him aside from teaching him that and, and like i said when we had that throw down little argument way back and he really pissed me off i was like i'm just gonna harass this dude you're gonna break with me because I, I one thing you'll learn about us military people when you mess with us we do not back off you better call the, the popo 
and we'll sarcastically ride you while we teach you a lesson and it don't stop or you'll be having nightmares about it I, I promise you we're really wicked marines ain't marines for nothing if you don't know you watch all them videos they're making no marines on on, on youtube went through that gru grueling crap and then it got worse from there going into the fleet but you learn how to to deal with it develops bearing and character makes you a tougher person so you don't shock and all too easy like every little thing that fly by you like oh 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 my god that's why i'm able to show you these planets and be like not be like oh my god look at this planet that's how people be acting when i look at them through my eyes it's like they be just like dude you're too extra <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> Uh, got some black folk looking at me looking like they lost look at yeah y'all yeah, yeah, keep driving yeah i be i be hard on on my peoples especially when they know they can come over and ask me and they start looking at me like you better go drink or smoke something get on our level you better get the hell up out of here before i kick something up your butt cheek a size 11 it's, it's mean hot and fiery and that's my good leg <laughs> anyways uh Hello. Yeah, I, I get the weird looks and, and then watch this guy shark my. I get a lot of people that shark my damn position. I'm telling you, I love people, but I can't freaking do some people. You can't, you can't be in the hood and be scientific because like these idiots will try to like ridicule you with, with long dumb stares. And I got too much fire in me for that. I swear to God, I ain't being funny or racist against my own people. But if you see me in my little freaking own little bubble doing me, keep moving. Don't stare too long. I might freaking get in my car and chase you down and ask you, freaking dog on you out there, you who? There might be some gunfire, some bats flying. I'm just kidding, all right? <laughs> Don't take it serious. I know y'all so probably like, this mofo crazy. Yeah, there ain't nothing new. My mama told me that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's all these moons and planets uh damn real beautiful too man that one's showing up real good this is me i probably ain't get it there's one right here that's showing up real good you can see the whole sphere of the dark side of it and it's being lit by all these clouds around it i'm gonna tell y'all the first time i saw um these come in in 2000 uh what was it after i broke my leg Two thousand seventeen. Yep, that was the magic year for me. What happened was I was looking around the sun and I saw this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna post that picture up. There was this uh, planet that looked like Saturn, it had a ring around it, and it had all these little moons, and it was way back. And I'll tell you, the first time I saw, it, I was taking pictures with my thirty-five millimeter. The first time I saw it, and I realized it, and it was like a little pea in the sky. It wasn't even as big and as defined as these. But when I saw it, I straight up cried. Like I was explaining it to people because I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I kept seeing some weird stuff fly by the sun. And I'm like, damn, am I the only one? And this was like before all this that we were seeing clearly. These things have come a long way since 2017. Like they really are in your face. So in about two years from now, they really gonna be in your face. Like literally like floating by uh, with their smoke trails, like the moon, literally behind the moon. And they're gonna be flying all across the sky and people gonna be flipping out. People gonna be like taking selfies. And people gonna be like saying that they discovered it first. And, uh, I'm like, no, this stuff was discovered way back in the 60s. What y'all can do is reference my videos. Uh, Planet X Hunter. Angry Catfish, Briggs, especially Sam Hoffman. He called it. And you can look up for the raggedy follow ups by, you know, all the other turds that going to come through like Alex, uh, MBB333, all those fake asses, pretenders. Um, oh, secure team. That's the dude. That's the man. Them too. I'm glad they're black. They're back. Oh, I'm glad they're black. I'm glad uh, secure team is back. Please look them up. They was offline for a while, and people was trying to take them down. And uh, I remember MVB333 was using uh, his little intro, which made me mad as hell. What's up, guys? I was like, really, mofo? Really? You just gonna take Trevor's stuff like that? I should drive out to Arizona and thump you upside your head, cut down your freaking cactuses, and go home. <laughs> you know but um i'm just joking um really it, it's, it's just like this is before i got into my whole third eye cam i i was i looked to see through the bs to get to the truth 
and I was seeing, you know, all the these guys faking it. You know, doing their ridiculousness. There's a planet right there, a whole bunch of them. One, two, three. It's like a cluster. I see three big planets. Can't see past the tree, possibly four on behind the tree branch right here. The tree actually. But I do see one big one in the front, two in the back, I think one over to the left and a whole bunch. And then this one right here, look at this. Look at look at Mr. Magic Chem Trail is going across this one. See that? Get the sun out of there. There's one right here. See him going across it? I'm gonna use my Alex voice. See it, see it, see it, see it right there. Look it, see it, see it. Basura. See it, see it, see it, see it, see it right there. See it right. See it, see it, see it. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Alex. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. See how like that shadow made the, uh, that portion get dark right here. And yes, you can laugh at the Alex joke. It's funny. The dude's funny. But um, see how the shadow just uh. He drove. He flew through because there was lack of light. I'm sure his whole smoke trail. There he is. I notice this a lot wherever he flies through. Um, the trail will get shadowed out. Now it's still there, but you can't see it past uh, the shadow of that planetoid. That's the one I was looking at earlier. You know what I mean? And you can see a little shadow behind it. Let me see. Uh, damn, I can't see it no more. Can't see it no more. Let me go bright. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, all right. So he moved on, and uh, there's another shadow too that got cast. Let me see. Let's get this stuff before it runs away. Anywho, he's going up that way. So. Uh, Big planetoid just passed by. Now, if these things were to get on the opposite side of the sun in the sky, and then they will come into more of a full of bloom. But because they're congruent with the sun right now, can't see them too clearly. All right, so I'm gonna take a break. I'll be posting these videos up later, later, later. So just please stand by. And if I don't come back on, please watch, like, subscribe, and share. Please, everybody, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down, thumbs up. Either one. Don't just watch the video, please. I should probably say this in the beginning. I'm going to start saying in the beginning. I still got to put my projects up. I still want to do my little, um, what is it, Patreon deal. So I'm to start sending some checks out. We need them. Not for me. I'm good. Except the world keeps going in a couple of years, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm not lying to you. I got six inventions, and uh, all of them are gangster ass inventions. Not even playing. Y'all could really use them. Um, but they'll be out if somebody gives me a fair shake. Now, however, if y'all want to contribute to getting that invention out, then whoever like gives some good amount of money or whatever, and we make it, I'm cutting y'all a check because I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to be a millionaire. I'm cutting y'all a big old check. If the world's still rolling, I mean that. I'll tuck some away for me, but uh, I'll, I'll cut whoever hooks me up, you know, helps me out with this project. And, you know, I want to do it by myself, but it don't seem like that's feasible right now. So I'm going to have to look for me a team. All right. We'll be back.